Welcome back to TechLogics. In this video tutorial, we will show you how to initialize and activate a new VGI IP camera and set its IP address using the VGI config tool for first-time use. This process is essential to ensure your camera is properly configured, secure, and easily accessible on your network. Make sure your VGI camera is connected to your network via LAN, and that your PC or laptop is also connected to the same modem or router, just like in the diagram. This connection is crucial for the VGI config tool to detect and communicate with your camera smoothly. To download the VGI config tool, simply search for it on Google, or for your convenience, we've included a direct link in the video description below. Just click on the link to easily access the download and get started with the setup process. When downloading the VGI config tool setup file, you'll notice there are two options available, one for Windows x86 and another for Windows x64. It's important to select the correct version to ensure the software runs smoothly on your computer. Most modern PCs are equipped with the x64 architecture, so in most cases, the x64 version is the best choice. However, if you are unsure about your system type, you can check your Windows version in the system settings. Choosing the compatible setup file will help prevent any issues during installation and ensure your camera setup process goes without a hitch. After downloading the setup file, you might find it in a zip folder. In that case, carefully extract the files from the zip archive to a folder on your computer. Once extracted, open the folder to locate the setup file which is usually named something like VGI config tool or similar. Next, right-click on the setup file and select Run as Administrator from the menu. This step is important because it grants the installer the necessary permissions to make system changes and install all components properly. Running as Administrator helps prevent common installation errors and ensures everything is set up correctly. Performing this step is crucial for a smooth installation process. It guarantees that the VGI config tool is installed with the correct permissions, which helps avoid issues later on. Proper installation from the start ensures your camera setup and management will be efficient and trouble-free, providing optimal performance in the long run. After completing the installation, the VGI config tool will automatically open, allowing you to start configuring your devices right away. Additionally, a shortcut icon will be placed on your desktop for easy and quick access in the future, so you don't have to search for it every time you need to use the tool. Having the shortcut on your desktop makes it convenient to launch the software anytime you need to manage your VGI cameras or perform settings adjustments. When you open the VGI config tool, navigate to the Device Management page. Under the Discover Devices section, the tool will automatically begin searching for all VGI cameras and devices connected to the same LAN network. This automatic scan helps detect any compatible devices within your local network, making it easy to identify and select the camera you wish to configure. This feature streamlines the initial setup process, saving you time and effort. Instead of manually entering device details, the tool's automatic detection quickly recognizes all connected devices. This allows you to move forward smoothly with configuration and IP address assignment, ensuring your setup is quick, accurate, and hassle-free. In this demonstration, if you see that the camera status is marked as uninitialized, it indicates that the camera needs to be set up with a user account and security questions. To start this process, go to the Action section and click the Initialize icon. A pop-up window will appear, allowing you to set a password for your camera. The default username will be admin, but you will need to create a strong, secure password. You may also be prompted to enter your email address, which can be helpful for password recovery in the future. Choosing a robust password is an important step in securing your camera. For example, you might select password at 2025, making sure it contains at least one uppercase letter, one symbol, and one number. This adds an extra layer of security, helping to prevent unauthorized access. Enter and confirm your password carefully, and remember this information for future use. Once you've entered and confirmed all the necessary details, click the Next button to proceed with the initialization. In this step, you'll see a pop-up window where you need to select your region and time zone that match your country. This ensures your camera's settings are accurate for your location. 
After making your selections, simply click Next to move on to the Security Question Configuration window, where you'll set up additional security measures for your device. Next, you'll be prompted to answer a security question, which is important for password recovery in case you forget your login details in the future. Once you've selected and answered the security question, click the Complete button to finalize and complete the initialization process. This ensures your camera is secure and ready for further use. When you click the icon, the Configure Network pop-up window will appear, prompting you to enter the camera password you set earlier during initialization. After entering the password, you need to input the desired static IP address that fits within your modem or router's IP series, along with the gateway IP address, which is typically the IP of your modem or router. Properly configuring these details ensures your camera is assigned a fixed IP, which is essential for maintaining a stable, reliable connection and avoiding issues with dynamic IP changes. Once all the necessary information is correctly entered, clicking the Confirm button will save your settings. Once the camera has been initialized and its IP address configured, you can access it through a web browser. Simply click on the IP address shown in the Configure tool, or you can directly enter the camera's IP address into your browser's address bar. This allows you to easily view live footage, manage settings, and monitor your camera remotely. If you encounter a security error when trying to access the camera through your browser, click the Advanced option on the warning page. Then, select Proceed to Camera IP Address to bypass the security warning and access the camera login screen. This allows you to view the live feed and manage your camera even if your browser flags the connection as potentially insecure. To access the live view and manage other settings of your camera, you need to enter the correct login credentials, typically the username and password you set during initialization. This login process ensures that only authorized users can view the live feed and make configuration changes, maintaining the security of your surveillance system. Once logged in, you'll be able to view real-time footage, adjust settings, and perform administrative tasks as needed. To explore and configure additional features such as recording device integration, OnVIF setup, and other advanced settings, we will be covering these topics in upcoming videos in this series. Stay tuned to enhance your understanding and maximize the capabilities of your VGI surveillance system. If you found this video helpful, we sincerely appreciate your support. Your feedback and engagement inspire us to create more detailed and valuable content. Please consider liking the video sharing it with others, or subscribing to our channel. Every action motivates us to continue delivering helpful tutorials. Thank you for being part of our community, look forward to more insightful videos ahead.